Look what I want to show you. Look, kids would like this. It's fun to do. You have an onion, or an old onion, or one that's sprouting or is getting a bit old. You just put it in a jar of water and you let it sprout. Sprout uh, roots and sprout leaves. It's lots of fun. It's good for kids to learn how to grow things, isn't it? Oops, let's have a look. You just sit the uh, bulb. You sit the bulb part. Just sit it in the water. Just sit the uh, bottom of the uh, onion in the water. That's what you do. Of course, some people do this with hyacinths. They have special hyacinth jars for growing hyacinths in water. And they also do it with amaryllis bulbs and um, belladonna lilies sometimes. I've seen them sold on Amazon. You can buy special jars for uh, hyacinths and belladonnas and amaryllis. Now this was a coffee jar, a Makona coffee jar I think. And this was a gherkin jar. A gherkin jar. And of course if you were growing amaryllis or a hyacinth the water would be poison. Wouldn't it? It would be. But just for an onion. Change the water every couple of days of course. Because if you let the water get stale and rotten, well, all that staleness and rottenness might be taken up into the leaves. And if you want to uh, use your uh, onion leaves for two minute noodles or something or a salad, you want them just to be nice healthy onion leaves, don't you? Not filled with uh, uh, juice that's been taken up from uh, murky stagnant water underneath. So change the water every couple of days and you can enjoy your uh, leaves in, look how crisp they are, in salads or sandwiches or in your uh, two minute noodles. Let's fill this tank up. Let's fill this tank up before we put our onion in. I don't think this jug's going to fill it up entirely, is it? Back in a sec. Well, it's fun for kids, just so that the onion touches, touches the, uh, the bottom of the onion touches the water. It should be all right. And uh, it's fun for kids and it's a converse, conversation piece. Let's just see now. Let's see. Let's see, we just want the bottom of the onion to touch the water. There. Could use a little bit less water I suppose, as long as the uh, bottom of the onion touches the, uh, touches the water. It'll start sprout, sprouting roots in a day or so. Got to have an onion that fits. This one just uh, is the right size. Well, it could be a little bit larger but it'll swell a little bit once it starts growing. I think. I'm judging by my experience with the other onion. A little building, that could be a building. It could be. Anyway, it's touching the water now. It could be a building in some faraway land, couldn't it? It could be. But anyway, as long as the uh, bulb just touches the water, it'll be happy and it'll start sprouting. Don't leave it on a hot windowsill in the hot bright sun. Just leave it on a windowsill but maybe indirect light. You don't want it get, getting too hot. It depends on how hot your sun is. If you're in the Australian sun it might be cooked in the window. You don't want your onion to be cooked, do you? You don't. And uh, it's a good conversation piece and it's something that children enjoy doing this sort of thing. It's good for kids to be able to see roots growing and watch a plant develop and learn all about botany and being able to eat the leaves in a sandwich. Voila. Have fun with it anyway.